Okay, so maybe I'm not a size 22 like this display model, but after today, I've got a new shoe size for 2019. So let's go. Fill my whole shelf. So greetings guys, Cy here, and welcome back to another episode of Project Left. Today we're gonna to be exploring shoe size and why I think it's the most underrated piece of custom fitted equipment that you can have that's really gonna help your game. So first of all, why are shoes so important? Well, for me, the obvious thing is that you walk between five and seven miles every time you play a round of golf. It's the only point of contact that you have with the ground and it's an opportunity to make sure that you maximize whatever speed and power you have and you don't lose any power through poor contact with the ground. So I spent the morning with James from Footjoy and he talked me through the 2019 range from Footjoy and also about the fitting process and why it's so important that we look at custom fitting our shoes. Now they use the old Braddock. It is a tried and trusted piece of equipment that measures not only shoe size, but also shoe width and longest toe length. And these three measurements mean that you can get a custom fit shoe specifically designed for your foot. Whatever size of shoe you are, whether you're a size three, two, one junior, or like Shaquille O'Neal, you're 22, that's right size 22 shoes. Now this is actually a shoe made for Shaquille O'Neal, famous basketball player, seven foot two. Footjoy a few years ago were commissioned to make a basketball shoe for Shaquille O'Neal. And like I say, he is size 22. So obviously in order to do that, they had to laser measure his foot and then make a mold to build a shoe round. And that is the mold that this display model is made from. It's just crazy. Look, look how big it is. Like, look at that on screen. That literally is filling up the whole screen. <laughs> that it, it, it's just amazing. If you haven't seen this, go to your local Footjoy stockist and just pick this thing up. It is apt. Look at it. Look at this. Like the size of my it's got. Could fill my whole shelf behind me. Brilliant. Anyway, so back to the shoe fitting. Those three measurements that the Braddock will give you will make sure that you can get a custom shoe that is the right size for you. Now, obviously. We stock Footjoy down at Barry Snemmons Golf Club. I highly recommend Footjoy. This is not a sponsor video from Footjoy. This is just me saying how much I believe in their products because not only do they do every size and half size between six and 12 in men's and three and eight in ladies and the half sizes in between, they also have shoes in up to four width fittings. So narrow, medium, wide, and extra wide. So you can really tailor the shoe that's gonna fit you. And with their ordering process and their stock level system that they have here in the UK, they are definitely one of the best manufacturers and suppliers of golf shoes. Remember, Footjoy only make golf shoes. They're not a sports brand. They don't make trainers. They don't make walking shoes. They don't make shoes for comfort. They just specifically make shoes for golf. Now, obviously, they have different levels of product and they have performance tour proven shoes and then they have their comfort ranges. And obviously, there are different price levels and people have different budgets and that's all fine. But there's no excuse not to get the right size. So on to me and my fitting. Now, for as long as I know, I've worn size 10 and a half extra wide, and that has been a brilliant fit for me. It's fitted me really well. I thought I went to Footjoy probably 12 years ago and got fitted for size 10 and a half extra wide. I used to wear 12s and 13s, which I had to do to get the width, and I also used to wear a lot of Adidas shoes. Now, Adidas naturally come up much narrower, therefore, to get that width, that extra width that I thought I needed, I had to go longer. But I often used to wear shoes out, mainly in the heel, but often through creasing, through the leather creasing right above my toe bed. Now, these are two real telltale signs that your shoes are too big for you. That wearing in the heel, because the foot has moved around, that is one of the worst things that you can do. Obviously, it's likely to cause blisters, but also it's gonna wear that shoe out. 
Now you want a golf shoe that is particularly snug when you first put it on. Not tight, obviously we don't want to cut any circulation off, but you want it to be snug and therefore it, it gradually will mold to your foot. If the shoe is too big and your foot's moving around inside it, then you're going to widen that shoe even more and it's going to become loose and sloppy and really not support your foot. Especially in a sport like golf where your rotational ability is really tested. Your stability of movement in a lateral manner is definitely tested when you play golf, especially if you have any speed through your swing. So getting a fit is so, so important. And I, I cannot stress this enough. Like I say, I used to wear 10 and a half extra wide, and today I got fitted for 11 medium. Now, whether FootJoy's tolerances and parameters have changed, or my foot has changed through the years, it's probably a bit of a combination of both. But for 2019, I'm gonna be wearing size 11 medium. Now, I'm particularly excited about that because every single men's shoe in the FootJoy range is available in 11 medium. So no more do I have to pick and choose which styles, which color options, and very limited boa options. Now I really like boa fit shoes. I think they fit much, much better than laces, but maybe that's for another time. The moral of this video, the importance of this video that you need to take away is that let's use this time to make sure that we have the correct shoe fitting. Come down and see me if you're a member at Barry and Edmonds or if you're in the Barry area. We'll get you fitted. Whether you buy your shoes or not, that's absolutely fine, but I don't want anybody to have any excuses that their shoes are too big, too small, don't fit properly, and therefore don't give you the correct traction. So guys, thank you for watching this episode of Project Left. Just a quick little chat about why I think shoe fitting is so important and why it can improve our goal going forward and it's certainly a piece of equipment that you really need to take some time and consideration over. You walk a lot of miles on the golf course, you make a lot of swings over the duration of a golf shoe's life, let's get it right. So as always, my name's Simon, hit the subscribe button, which will be whew, hopefully down there in the bottom. Remember, hit the old like button, that'll be down there somewhere. And as always, I'll see you down here on PJ Live 365 for another episode of Project Left very, very soon. Bye-bye. Just, just look at it. Just look how big it is. Bye-bye. <laughs>